So I wanted to give some quick searching suggestions for when you are hunting information about an instrument that you want to review. Obviously, the first thing you have to decide is what instrument you want to review. And how you arrive at that um, will probably vary depending on, you know, whether you pick, you choose to start with one of these websites. You could also start with something like Google. If you know that there's some phenomenon that you're interested in learning more about measuring, then you could start with Google and see if you could find actual instruments in that way. It could be that that leads you to one of these sites or to some other place with information about that instrument. Instruments cost money most of the time, much of the time. And so if you go directly to the publisher or the vendor of that instrument, you will encounter a paywall that will not allow you to access that instrument without paying. But because these are widely, often widely used, some of them are probably not, I'm sure there are many instruments that are developed that nobody, nobody ends up using, but many of them are used, and so the practitioners that are using them, whether they're researchers or they're teachers or they're professors or they're people in other spots that have to test people, psychologists, um, they're publishing information and chatter and all kinds of stuff online about these instruments. So they're giving you snapshots of um, the instruments themselves, or they'll type out the questions that are on them, they'll explain them in depth, they'll give tips for other people who want to use these, you know, there's all kinds of information if you kind of um, go look sort of sideways, as I call it. If you go directly again to the vendor or publisher, it's going to appear that you can't access the instrument at all because it costs money, and I don't want you to pay. So, I'm going to show you one place. You all know how to do a Google search. So you could type in like this one, Naglieri Nonverbal Ability Test. You could go Google that and then begin exploring. Look, here's one called testingmom.com. So it sounds like a website for moms. Um, there's a Wikipedia article. Anyway, there's all kinds of information that you're going to find about that. So let's go see a more formal source for learning more about any instrument that you want to. Again, not all of these in my list over here, I have a, I've compiled a list of just ideas. Not all of these would show up on, on the University of West Georgia databases, but I think this Naglieri one will because it's a more official, formalized instrument. Some of these are uh, less formal like I know I have at least one that's like uh, it's like the Coweta County Schools benchmark or something and that's not gonna nobody's gonna have an article about that there it is right there like this one there's not gonna be research on there's not gonna be research articles about it where I'm about to show you but a lot of them there will be so I'm showing you a legitimate way to go find information I'm on the library website for University of West Georgia at some point in this process, you do need to log in. Just letting you know, it seems like sometimes it lets you kind of get really far in a search and then suddenly you'll have to log in to make any more progress. Sometimes it seems like it wants you to log in and near nearer the beginning. So just roll with it and understand that to access a lot of things in here, you do have to eventually log in to University of West Georgia's library system. All right, so we're going to go over here to the searching area. We're going to go to databases in Galileo, click subject or A to Z listing. And we could go narrow right off the bat by education, but then we'd have to pick the specific databases we want, which then is a further narrowing. We'd have to pick to use ERIC or ProQuest or Professional Development Collection or Education Full Text. We could do that, but that's a narrowing that narrows our responses. And right now, I have no idea what we're going to find. So I'm just going to. I'm going to search at the highest level and what this will do in theory I believe is it will search databases across all subject areas so I'm not removing that I'm not removing anything from psychology or history or music because I don't even know anything about this instrument so I'm just gonna search at a high level and see what happens I'm gonna put the name of the test make sure making sure it's spelled correctly in quotes because that tells the database if I don't do that then it will show way more results that are not related to my topic. It will show anything with the name Naglieri. So it could be an author writing about some physics phenomena up, you know, in the stars. Um, if some physicist were named Naglieri, it could pr produce all, all kinds of results that don't relate. So you put the quotes around it to, to say, I only want things that have all four of these words together just like this. 
Um, I'm going to also put or, and I'm going to put the, mm, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stick to this. There's a chance that some people, the risk of this, of only putting this, is that there's a chance that some people would write nonverbal like that. Um, it's, there's a chance that the way this name of this test is written is actually not correct. So if I don't get a lot of, um, returns, then I might want to go double check the official name of this test. So I'm going to say search, and I could further limit. I could say I want full text only or scholarly and peer-reviewed. For the sake of time, this might be a useful thing to click. If you want to make sure it's scholarly and peer-reviewed, the highest quality kinds of stuff that have been checked by other experts in the field, you would check this. But right now, I, want, I don't want to limit too much, so I'm going to hit search. And I want you to notice up here, I've got yellow up on the top. This says, hello guest, log in for full access. I could go ahead and do that right now. Um, or I can try to click on something like this has PDF full text. It looks like I do have a return of nearly 500 things on this very specific search. If I click this, it may ask me to log in. Not yet, but soon. Okay, gives lots of good abstract information, citation information, which is useful to you when you're putting together your your discussion post on, on your instrument review because you have to have uh, a citation. So you can come over here and grab APA. Although, admittedly, if you look closely, the APA is not correct. I don't know why they don't do this right in the um, EBSCOhost uh, citation. So any EBSCOhost database they don't do the APA right, and the way they don't do it right is right here. This about should be, this should all be lowercased. Um, anyway, a lot of it should be lowercased. They they uppercase it all, and it's wrong to do that. All right, so let's see what happens when I click the PDF full text. Okay, here's where it's really saying, okay, you really have to log in for full access. So I could have done it earlier with that yellow bar up there, but I'm going to do it here now. And now I have access to this um, document. I can read about this test. It's possible that it's got snippets of the test. It probably explains it in depth, maybe more depth than we even need to know. Um, let's see if at the end they put any snapshots related to the test. They do not, but it could be that they have links out to um, the test, but it'll have information. So it's just an example. It doesn't show us any image of the test. Um, yeah, but you may find it in, this could have uh, the test itself if you want to see the instrument. Uh, there's all kinds of information. So this is a way to get legitimate information um, about a test without paying for it um, more than you already have by being a University of West Georgia student. So don't discount those databases. They're pretty awesome if the instrument you've picked is like a nationally level, a national level thing, or even a, a state level test if it's a big test. Um, you may find that there's information in the databases. And again, by not, not limiting it to just scholarly, by not checking scholarly, I'm able to also draw in like practitioner sources as well. So that's it. Thank you so much and good luck.